Ray Saluda from the Philippines is in the next bout. 24-year-old from uh, Panobo City, third in the 2011 Asian Championships in the flyweight category. Up against the fourth-ranked boxer from the United States of America, Roushi Warren, 24-year-old from Cincinnati, Ohio, coached by uh, Mike Stafford. Emphatic winner of the U.S. Olympic trials to earn his spot here. Beat Sean Simpson, 2010 American national champion. And for Warren, well, a competitor at two Olympics, 2008, 2004. And Saluda, well, clearly the underdog now for Warren in the 2007 World Championships in Chicago in front of an ecstatic American crowd. This man took the gold, also part of the WSB series, as we give you a quick check on the judges for this bout. 24 years of age, Warren. And in the blue corner for the Americans, very much the favorite to take this. The American, part of the Los Angeles Matadors from the World Series of Boxing. Schmark the referee from Germany. Both these boxers looking very impressive in their preliminary rounds. He's picking up the action at these World Championships in the round of 16. Most of these boxers have been here for a week already. Some and most taking two rounds. Look at the speed of hands there from the American. And it looks like he's here to get this one over with as quick as he possibly can. Electrifying start. Rashi Warren. Through the first round, and the American seems quite happy with the way he's starting to take control of this round of 16 bout. Winners of these, oh, there's a good shot from the Filipino. <laughs> oh, shakes up the American, makes it quite clear that he's not going to have it all his own way. Left hook, giving Warren just a little bit of a shake-up. Twenty seconds and counting. The American's got this first round, and he's just looking to put in a few extra points as we hit the 10 second count but uh, Saluda he's uh, put some good counter punches down 
made it quite clear that it'll be no walkover. There's the end of round one. 7-2 to the American, five points clear after the first round. Some very fast exchanges. And those combinations coming very quickly indeed, but the Filipino sees that Warren... Oh, that's a lovely hook, wasn't it, with the left? Five-point advantage in the first round. The heat is on the Filipino now. Ray Saluda, 24-year-old. He's seen that he can score. The gaps do open up. The problem is, once Warren in the blue corner is on the attack, he scores very quickly indeed. Second round, three minutes per round, remember. This is two of three. It's exactly what Saluda needs to do. Take this fight to the American. And when he unleashes... Very fast hands, cover up, and then look for the opening. He's going to make up those five. He needs to take the second round at least. And so far, so good for the Philippine boxer. Filipino boxer. Again from Warren. to go and either boxer now still as quick still able to step away Slightly more even round. Saluda giving it his best here. No shortage of commitment whatsoever. Every possible skill, every possible combination that he's got in his repertoire has been pulled out in this second round. There goes the bell. Well, only three in it that time, but still the American ahead by nine to six, taking it 16 to eight. Eight behind for Saluda now in the red. And he's not going to make up that kind of point score unless he can knock him out. Much closer, just three separating the... American and Filipino boxer in the second round, but it's a total score that now starts to clearly 
swing to the Americans' favour, an eight-point advantage. Well, it'll be interesting to see if the Filipino changes his tactics completely, and it'll be interesting to see how... Roshi Warren... ...boxes this last three minutes. As soon as this band is over, not too much time to rest for the winner. Quarterfinals tomorrow afternoon and evening here at the Kedar Aliyev Sport and Concert Complex, named after, of course, the founder of Azerbaijan from independence in 1991. <laughs> Cut again. He's got the Filipino there. And surely now Warren can move in and start to settle this once and for all. Comfortably looking like taking all three rounds here. And of course, for Warren of the USA in the blue, winning this bout will put him on the road to his third Olympic Games as an amateur boxer. And also enjoying his first year with the Los Angeles Matadors on the WSB World Series Boxing Conference. Where the headgear comes off, the rules become more professional. But you can still go to the Olympic Games. It's been a brave battle from uh, Ray Saluda. He scored some good points, he struck some good blows. But there just hasn't been enough in the armory. There hasn't been enough to stop this incredibly dynamic, experienced, and now very confident American boxer. Roushi Warren, ranked four. And looking to move into the quarterfinals. I'm not sure that, that eight-point deficit that Saluda came into this third round with has been dented into at all. Ten seconds now. Final few. Punches are thrown. And that's it. And by my calculations here in the commentary position, Warren in the blue corner for the United States of America advances to the quarterfinals of these world championships in Azerbaijan. And also qualifies for his third Olympic Games. Athens in 2004, Beijing in 2008, knocked out the prelims in both. Not knocked out, but didn't go further than the prelims in both. And he's given himself with a chance of taking Olympic glory as Roushi Warren for the United States of America. You can see he's got the three fingers in the air. He's on his way to his third Olympic Games, 22-12. An emphatic win for the American.
Well, the next match sees a Swedish national champion, Salomo Intuv, take on the Uzbekistan boxer, Yazurbek Latipov. Well, of the two boxers, the 23-year-old Swede, a slightly better results and scorecard. And Latipov for Uzbekistan. Let's take a look at the Swede first. 18th and 6th in the 2011 and 2010 European Championships. A bit of experience from the World Championships. As for Latipov, just turned 20 years of age. India, Italy, Morocco, Ecuador, and Colombia, our five judges. Referee, Anna Martinez from the Dominican Republic. So, experience and the form book are anything to go by the boxer in the red corner for Sweden Salumo in Tuv is the favorite to take this Yazubek Latipov of Uzbekistan national champion in 2009 Blue corner, Latipov, very impressive in his preliminary rounds. But in two, in the red for Sweden, had a much tougher draw. Good height and range difference between red and blue. A lot taller, isn't he, the Swede? And let's see if he can use that longer reach and jab to good effect. Flyweight division, remember, 52 kilos. No higher the weight of these boxes. both boxers up as we've been saying throughout the action of this round of 16 here in Baku a lot of extra pressure on the shoulders of the boxers here in this round it's the world championships prior to the 2012 summer olympic games each and every one of these competitors know going forwards from the round of 16 to the quarterfinals guarantees your London Olympic selection. 
long as your national federation agrees with that but from the international boxing association that's the qualification mark and it's been achieved you're on your way okay. Again, there's no connection there powerful punches attempted Uzbekistan scoring three to one. Against the Swede. I think that was the one from the Swede. There's definitely a good score there. His left hook. Latipov. With a two-point advantage after the first round. Let's see if that just gives him a little more confidence to get in there. Instead of picking off three, let's pick off 13. But certainly, Latipov will have the advantage. Or a little bit of a confidence boost, not the advantage, a confidence boost. After that opening round, uh, both boxers clearly a little unsure of each other's styles and for Latipov the height and reach of the Swede but with a two-point advantage from that first round he'll look to build on that now and certainly a lot more confident about moving in on the attack and looking to faint a little bit and then counter-attack It's the opposite for him. Clearly, what he was trying to do in the first round hasn't worked. Halfway through the second, and still doesn't seem to be any more effective. that are on are coming from Latipov that's better from the Swede in the red corner of course Latipov knows he needs to respond one-two that we've seen from the Swede that has scored points and made contact. 